Steam engines were one of the most significant developments in human history. Everything from transportation on boats and trains, to powering the Industrial Revolution's factories, steam engines pushed humanity to greater heights. However, the Industrial Revolution wasn't the first time that a steam engine prototype was developed. In fact, the earliest known instance of a steam engine is believed to have come from around the 1st century AD in Roman Egypt. The Yolopile, as it was called, was an invention credited to Heron of Alexandria. It was very simple, basically just a metal ball filled with water placed on an axle. The water was heated, and the steam would escape from two individual points that would cause the ball to spin rapidly. It's not known what it was used for, but obviously it did not catch on in the same way that steam engines did during the Industrial Revolution. However, what if it did? What if the steam engine had been invented over a thousand years before it was in our timeline? It's a bit of a stretch to say this could happen, but let's just say it did. I would like to take this time to throw out the term alien space bats, which is a neologism for plot devices used in alternate history to mean an implausible point of divergence. At least according to Wikipedia. I just bring this up to point out that yes, of course, it is ridiculous for Rome to have invented the steam engine this early, but it's meant to be ridiculous. So take it all with a grain of salt because this is not meant to be entirely serious or an extremely realistic portrayal of what could have happened. Alright, back to the video. Let's say in this timeline, some rich noble in Alexandria sees this invention and decides he could use it for something. The first years of use would be very simple, nothing special. Pumping water from wells, small mills, and other simple tasks. However, over time, just as the steam engine was in our timeline, the Yola pile would be continually improved as more uses were found. A potential would be clear to merchants using the better version of the steam engine to carry their ships across the Mediterranean without having to pay for so many men to row their ships. The early prototypes of railroads, essentially just grooves in the ground, could see much more prolific use, with devices similar to early trains being used to carry supplies from the areas they are taken to port cities where they could be traded across the Roman Empire. Small factory-like buildings start popping up, producing goods in a higher quantity than any single man could hope to build. Soon, within a century, the steam engine can be seen in use all across the empire in steam boats, trains, factories, machines, and all sorts of other gadgets. However, things aren't all sunshine and rainbows in the newly industrialized Roman Empire. Just as they were in our timeline, there will be many opponents of the steam engine, and they will be the ones that stand to lose the most. Those are the artisans, skilled laborers, and people that work with their hands. They would create quite a ruckus, claiming that the new steam engines were ruining good old Roman traditions, as they see their livelihoods becoming less and less relevant. Irrelevant. These artisans don't make up a huge percentage of the population, so it wouldn't be like a massive upheaval, but there would be a significant disruption in the way of life for many places around the Roman Empire. Now, it seems like I'm forgetting something. Like, there's an important part of Roman history that I'm leaving out. Oh yeah, the barbarians. That doesn't change. If anything, the barbarians would try to move into the areas they did sooner, seeing the booming prosperity of the Roman Empire. If they did though, they wouldn't waltz right in like they did in our timeline. At this point, nearly 200 years after the invention of the steam engine, and we're going to assume the Romans kept improving on the steam engine and its efficiency, they would be almost unbeatable by an outside opponent. They could ferry troops to and from areas much faster than ever before, resembling the troop mobilization of the Civil War. This means the Romans don't fall to the barbarian invasions they did in our timeline. Also, the other major problem the Roman Empire suffered from, overextension, is also not quite as much of a problem as it was before. With the steam engine shortening the time to communicate and travel between places, managing such a massive empire is no longer such an incredible feat, but oddly manageable the Roman Empire could easily last another couple hundred years. However, that does not mean they would last forever. There were inherent flaws in Roman rulers and society, 
such that eventually something would give. Just because the Romans could manage the distance between their frontiers now, that means they would expand further, thinking they could handle even more. However, they would eventually get to a point that even the steam engine could not protect all of their holdings. Additionally, internal rebellions, external threats, and possible wild cards, such as disease, could all come together at any point and work their magic, shattering the Roman Empire. Despite it being more manageable, there is just no way the Roman Empire could last forever as people grow more conscious of themselves and their own identities. In the end, the steam engine would create an economic boom in the Roman Empire unlike anything seen in the world yet. However, every empire has an expiration date, and their time would come just as every other empire's has. This was a bit of a more fun episode, not exactly realistic, but these theories are still a lot of fun. What do you think would have happened if the Roman Empire had invented the steam engine? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, it really helps me out. Also, if you're not already, subscribe to my channel for more content, and ring the bell next to it to get notifications for my videos, since I don't upload very frequently. If you want to stay up to date with me and what's going on with my channel, you can follow my Twitter. Thank you very much for watching, this has been Historical Hindsight and I'll be seeing you soon.